video. What is up, guys? DJ Eastwood coming to you live from my side porch. The Sixers just signed Ryan Brokoff. Brokoff. There's a bro with a cough. Or you can get broke off. We can think of all kinds of cool nicknames for Ryan Brokoff, I think. But, uh, yeah, I never even heard of the dude before. That might be my ignorance or uh, me not paying attention to other teams. But I never heard of Ryan Brokoff, so... I go to Google his name. This dude's not even on Google, bro. I had to type every B R O B R O E K. I had to type out his whole name for Google. Google was still like, "Who are you talking about?" But anyway, uh, so I go and watch his highlights. I'm like, "Let me check out some Ryan Brokoff stuff." And uh, he looks like a big shooter. You know exactly what the Sixers need: a big, tall, white guy that can shoot threes. Just happens to be from Australia. Um, I'll never understand what our fascination is with Australian players. I understand the Ben Simmons hype, of course, but I mean, Jonah Bolden, uh, a couple other people, man, and now this guy. We are the half of the Australian national team at this point. Um, Ryan Brokoff. I mean, it looks like he can catch and shoot. He has good form. He's tall. He can get open. He moves around good. Kind of looks like a 6'10" slow version of Kyle Korver. Um, he looks like he has a pretty quick release though, too. So I encourage all of you to go uh, watch his, his highlights. Um, it's really just shooting. That's all he does. He catches and shoots. That's fine. We need players like that. A uh, couple of questions that come to mind when thinking about the Sixers implementing a guy like Ryan Brokaw into their lineup is, uh, will Brett Brown even play the guy? You know, we got to start there. We have to start there. Will Brett Brown even play the guy? Nobody knows, okay? Glenn Robinson the third and Alec Burks, you know, should have had more minutes right when they arrived. There's still, like, you know, Brett played, uh, who's a little, who's a little Brazilian point guard that I can't stand, bro? I don't even know his name anymore. I've been so far, I've been away from sports for so long. Losing all of my knowledge and wisdom, um, but yeah, Brett Brown's lineups have never made sense. So uh, I, you know, I'm not even going to jump the gun and assume that he's going to play this guy enough for him to get comfortable. Uh, he looks like a perfect complementary piece next to Ben Simmons on the floor, running the floor, finding the corner, finding out where to be. And we know Ben Simmons finds open shooters left and right. So you know, if Brett gives him enough time to play along Ben Simmons, he could be a valuable piece. Um, the next thing is, are we even going to have a basketball season this year? You know, uh, does this even matter? This guy might have just got signed. We might not have a 2020 season, and he might be a free agent again in like three months before the start of the 2021 season. So, uh, who the hell knows if we're even going to have a basketball season? This whole Disneyland, Orlando, uh, bubble, three months of isolation, players opting out, uh, it just seems like a headache that's not worth it. Um, I don't know if we're going to see basketball in 2020. I don't know if we're going to see football in 2020. We're probably definitely not going to see baseball in 2020. <clears throat> so that's kind of why I've been away from YouTube a little bit. There's not a whole lot to talk about. I have trouble really stretching storylines or making videos just to try to desperately find some reason to make a video you know like if there's no actual reason for me to make a YouTube video if I don't feel like there's actual content to talk about I don't have any motivation to do it so that's why you haven't seen a YouTube video from me for about a month there's just nothing really sports wise to talk about on this day today though in 1996 the Philadelphia 76ers drafted Allen Iverson number one overall pick uh, that's something to talk about. That's legendary. One of the greatest players ever. Um, if you don't think so, I don't care about your opinion. 5'10", 150, scoring champion, MVP. Took, took Tyrone Hill and a bunch of Best Buy employees to the NBA Finals. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's it, man. The Sixers signed Ryan Brokaw. Go watch his highlights. He's a big, tall shooter. 
kind of looks like uh, Ersan Ilyasova a little bit. He kind of looks like Davis Bertans a little bit. Um, so I ain't mad at it. I like it. I like. I always like adding shooters, players that can catch and shoot with a guy like Ben Simmons on the offense. Come on, bro. I'm trying to make a video here. What's with all the trucks? All right, guys, DJ Eastwood, run it back, man. Stay tuned. Uh, hopefully we get sports back sometime in the near future. I think I'm going to make a gaming channel, by the way, for the release of PlayStation 5. Uh, I'm going to make a gaming channel. That will probably keep me occupied and keep me a little more active on YouTube since there's no sports happening. You guys have a great day. Peace.